Greetings, welcome to another day of Autoforge development. Today, we have been working on the mainframe UI and just trying to get that together. You know, the UI is really for the player to interface with the whole mainframe system. So it kind of is the glue. So it's uh, yeah, really critical to get that in place. So that way we can kind of use some systems that I have been working on. And so I was going to show that here, and then we can kind of take a quick look at the code to see how that's being put together. So I, I have made some progress here. We have this mainframe. We can actually be putting items into that and moving items around. Um, and right now I just have this like placeholder research tab that will kind of put something into later. So you can see, I, I like got this nice little category thing set up. This is mostly just being pulled from Korea. I got that working nicely, looks good. How to fix some uh, text here. Uh, the alignment was off, but yeah, it looks great now. And then I have this emitter category. And so this again is how you the player will be able to expand the territory the regions that you can travel to and so right now i just came up with some really simple thing where i actually ripped off the uh, playstation dualshock controller inputs from korea and just using them here as a grid so this is actually using the world so i had to make the world larger before i think it was only one region large now it's um eight by eight I believe and <clears throat> I have it so it's actually plotting out all of these um, so triangle means that is a region that is currently being emitted to so it's like you can travel to it the square means that it is emittable as meaning you can um, kind of like emit to that region right now there's no cost there will be some cost eventually, um, but right now there's no cost to actually do that. So you just can click on it and it makes that region be emitted at that point. And then the X means that uh, it's you know neither of the two. It's not emitted to and it's not emittable yet. Um, but you can see here as we expand out, we actually calculate which regions we can emit to and then you know start emitting so yeah um that's where a lot of the work went and also just kind of getting the text fixed up um it was just not being aligned properly and so i had to go through and actually fix all of the text in the game you can see now if i en enable debug mode it looks very nice before like where i was telling it should go is actually not where it would go and so i was kind of like hacking it before because I didn't fully understand that the alignment was an issue. But then I, you know, whenever I start adding in these categories, I'm like, okay, this is definitely wrong. <laughs> I need to fix that before we get too deep into this. So yeah, uh, we got that working and you actually will. And if we jump off the edge here, we'll see once we, oh, uh, actually let's go ahead and restart it. You'll see if I jump off the edge, I will start after a moment, start to drain um or at least i should yeah there we go right, and so we've gone into another region and so we're, we're just continuing to fall you can see that if i like drop items um so we've gone way past the edge you know we're i unfortunately i don't have any mini map or anything but we've gone way beyond the edge of the world um and so we start draining our energy and that's um the like one of the main mechanics for the immutable areas is that uh i think it's going to be something along the lines of if you go into an area that is not emitted to then you will start to have your energy drained energy is what's used to perform actions uh like you know digging or placing down items etc uh i i don't know actually about that it might just be some more basic things we'll see i, I we'll have to play around with it once we get further into the game but if you run out of energy then you will start to take damage um so 
energy is very much like hunger kind of uh except for it and is it makes a little bit more sense that it depletes at you know a constant rate or whenever you you are using items uh, and then if you go back to the mainframe your energy is replenished and we'll probably have it so that there are some consumable items that replenish your energy as well so that way you don't always have to go back to the mainframe especially as you get further into the game and uh you get you know kind of far away from the mainframe it would suck to have to always go back every once in a while um if you don't really want to so yeah that's uh that's what that's all looking like uh i yeah, the, we'll look at the UI code maybe tomorrow or something. Um, there's still a lot more work to do, and this video is already going a little long. But yeah, that's going to be it for today. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you all next time.